Hi, today we're going to look at a drill that will improve your climbing precision, efficiency and control, all while helping you improve your body awareness and position. Welcome to Hover Hands. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hi, it's Gordon Robb, Fatal Climber. I'm on my way to my normal Friday night climb with some friends at TCA, the Climbing Academy, the Prop Store in Glasgow. And I wanted to talk to you about an excellent climbing drill called Hover Hands. All you do in this drill is pick a climb and climb it. But when you make a move with your hand to the next hold, instead of actually taking hold of the hold, you hover your hand over the hold for a count of three. That's it, really simple. I came across this drill as a beginner, but I wouldn't really say it's necessarily a beginner's drill. If you want to improve your control, if you want to improve your efficiency, if you want to improve your awareness of your body on the wall, body position, etc., then hover hands is a good climbing drill to integrate into your climbing, perhaps integrate it into your warm-up. Hover hands is about control, not power and endurance. In fact, when you're doing the drill, if you find you're sweating or shaking or really struggling to pull, you really should find a better position, adjust your feet, um, adjust your weight, your balance, so that you can hold the position without as much strain. When you're on the wall, try to get your center of mass between the positions of your feet on the wall. When you're making your move, try to get your centre of mass over the foot that's not moving. That'll make the foot that's moving easier to move. Also, try to keep your arms as straight as possible. I mentioned in my top five mistakes beginners make about climbing with straight arms. If you wanted to see about that, then have a look at the link at the top right. Take the time to place your hands and feet don't grab, don't step. Try to make every move as controlled as possible. Try to find a good position to move from and a good position to be in so that you can let go one hand and hover it without too much strain or pressure. Above all, keep your movements smooth and controlled. It's the whole point of the exercise. And here we have some example climbs. If you watch here, you can see what I'm trying to do is have three points of contact. My feet aren't always on a hold, though sometimes on the wall. But if you look, you can see me adjust my body position to get evenly distributed between these three points. I'm still trying to work on using this drill to get a better body position, rather than being able to use my strength to pull myself into a position I can hover over the hold. And you can see in some of these examples, I'm clearly having to pull too hard. It's a work in progress. You can see me here, it looks like I'm leaning over to the right, but with my foot on the wall and my left arm straight, it's a very static, comfortable position to hold. The start of this one was very difficult to figure out. I could do it using strength alone, but that's not the objective. Eventually thought left flagging allowed me to get the right arm. Still a bit unhappy of how much I was having to use the strength of my left arm. A lot more work to be done at figuring out how to use body position. Megan here, you could see, could not reach up and hover over this hold. Could not get her body into position. So I gave it a try. You can see in my first position I still can't make it. Then I try again, this time pushing with my right foot allowed me to lean over. In this first one you can see sticking my right leg out did not give me a comfortable position to hold. I could hold but I was using all my strength. By swinging my weight over my left foot it was a far easier position to hold. Similarly, leaning over left here allowed me to be in a comfortable position. So all in all, 
I still need to do a lot of work on how to get into a stable position with this drill, which after all is the purpose of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap.